Hi guys, I'm Bernard. I'm Lou. We are the founders of ifaisto.com. We want to make fashion custom made and ethical. So people come on our website and they can have shirts, shoes, wallets, bags, handmade just for them. They can customize them from the color of the bag to the number of pockets they have. And also they know exactly who is going to make it. They can see the face of the artisans. They can see how much the artisan will receive in terms of money on this item. And all margin, of course, is public. Uh, Lou and I have been in Vietnam for four years. So before starting to work on the Fire Store, we worked for a la very large corporation. And that gave us time to discover the country. I was amazed with the artisans here. And we were thinking, okay, this country is special. There are amazing people here, amazing skills. And we can combine both ideas to do something different. We're trying to bring back to the present something that comes a bit from the past, which is craftsmanship. We just want to do to connect the dots of what already exists. Already, uh, there are great artisans and uh, consumers which are more and more sophisticated everywhere in, uh, around the world. And we just want to connect these, these two to make better fashion for everyone, so for the makers and for the consumers. The idea is that when you buy on the website, you will see their profile. You will see who they are, where they come from, what they did in the past. The idea is really that you can understand who you buy from. We don't need a mall anymore to showcase brands, but we want a website to showcase people and their crafts. The mall is dead. Zara and H&M, actually these two brands just launched in Vietnam. Zara a month ago, H&M this week. Everybody's getting crazy for them. But who is losing there is the traditional, traditional arts, right? That, that happened in Europe 50, 100 years ago. That we have very, very uh, few artisans now in Europe. That's for a reason, right? Because brands, brands took over. So now it's happening here in Vietnam. But you still have thousands of artisans and the brands are coming. So the artisans start suffering and then start saying it. So where we arrive exactly at the, at the time where actually we help these artisans to find the niche market abroad that is actually interested to, to uh, yet connect again with this kind of uh, craft.